Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install RetroArch onto your PS3 and play all types of classic games. So, there will be several links in the description of this video. The first two links will be the type you want to get for your PSP. So, there's CEX or DEX. I know my PS3 is a DEX, so I'm going to go ahead and download this one right now. It's 400 megabytes. The CEX version is not as big, but I'm just going to go ahead and download this. Alright guys, so if you're not sure what your PSP's um, sort of system type is, what you want to do, you just want to head over to the Rebug Toolbox and just press X to open it. From here you can just go into the system information and it will tell you um, what sort of kernel your PS3 is. So as you can see, mine is DEX, if yours is um, CEX then you're probably going to choose that. So while that's downloading, I'm actually going to choose some retro games that I want to play on RetroArch. So ROM Hustler is the best place for that. Um, as you can see, I think RetroArch supports tons of different stuff like um, Nintendo 64, um, Neo Geo, Nintendo DS. I'm going to go ahead and choose some NES games just because they're really small in size. So I can just show you guys quickly for this video. So pretty much I can just get any game I want here. Um, let's go ahead and choose, I'm going to go Street Fighter 4. So I'm just going to click here to download the game. Alright guys, so once the downloads are complete, just head over to your downloads folder. As you can see, here is my RetroArch and package file, and here is my Street Fighter NES game. So what I'm going to do is just right click and do extract here. You can delete the zip file. I'm just going to rename this just to remove that small thing um, off the end. Now what you want to do is just get a USB and just connect it to your PC so you can copy these files across and then copy them onto your PlayStation 3. Right, so here is my PS3's USB. As you can see, it's got tons of stuff on it. Um, but what I want to do is actually create a ROMs folder. As you can see, I've actually already got one on here. Um, I'm going to go into it. You can just do right-click, new folder, just to create it. What I'm going to do is just go into this right now and just do another new folder, and I'm just going to call it NES. Obviously, if you have more than one console you want to play on your PS3, you can do NES, um, Game Boy, all those sort of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these. So this one, you want to add to the root of your USB. And while that's copying across, this one I'm going to add into the ROMs folder. Then I'm just going to go back into the ROMs folder and just put it in the NES folder. Right, so I'm just going to wait for this to copy across to the root of the USB, and um, when it's finished, I'll see you guys on my PS3. Right guys, so once you're on your PS3, you just want to scroll across to the game section, scroll down, and you want to go to Package Manager. From there, you just want to go to Install Package Files, make sure you go down to Standard, because that is your USB device. Now you can just look for the RetroArch package file, so I've got mine here, retroarch.ps3. Dex and it is a package file so I'm just going to press X to install it and then just give it a couple of minutes to install alright guys so once it's done it will say install complete you can just press circle to go back now what you want to do is just scroll down and here it is RetroArch PS3 so I'm just going to press X and launch it Okay, so we're on RetroArch right now. Um, what we can do, we can actually go down here and just press X to load a core. Um, we actually copied across a NES game, so let's try and find a decent NES emulator. So, um, yeah, let's go with this one right here, Nestopia. Let's just press X on that. Okay, so as you can see, Nestopia is loaded down in the bottom left. Um, now we can go ahead and load some content. Right, now we can find some content to load. So let's go down to our USB 0. Press X on that. Now we can go into our ROMs folder. NES folder. And here is Street Fighter 4. Press X on that. Then choose the emulator. So the top one. Um, this is at um, 60 FPS, I believe. Obviously, um, I, it does have full working sound, but I just have to mute it for copyright. But let's just give a quick match and see how this thing works. Ok 
Right guys, so once you're bored of the game, you can actually press down both the analog sticks to bring up the RetroArch menu. As you can see, you can scroll down, you can go to close content. So I actually copied across a Game Boy Color game. So let's go down to load content. Um, let's look for my USB. Um, ROMs folder, here it is, Game Boy Color. So let's give Pokemon Crystal a try. So here it is, Pokemon Crystal working on full screen. It actually looks pretty cool, considering playing Game Boy Color games on a PS3, that's awesome. So let's just head over to a new game quickly. So as you can see, the game works full settings. You can also press the analog sticks and you can configure some options here. Right guys, so on Retroarch there's a settings feature where you can choose drivers, um, input, stuff like that. Um, on screen display, um, so there's tons of stuff in here. There's a favourites tab, recently played, music, um, there's some like network settings and scan directory and stuff like that. Right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.